Lyle Collins is a player that we just signed off the street and need him some help at tackle as well as the left guard position. Being injured last season, he was cut by the Bengals this past summer, and he's out to prove that he still belongs in the NFL. So when you're taking a look at a guy like Lyle Collins, we know this guy brings a lot of toughness and he brings physicality. That's part of the reason why we want this guy playing that guard position. He was doing it with the Bengals and he was doing it a lot with the Dallas Cowboys. So he's one of the guys that if he can be able to lock his hands on you, he can be able to control you and remove you off the line of scrimmage. So their left guard is going to be pulling to the second level. They like to try to get those second level blocks off and it's going to be some double team blocks, some one-on-one -on -one blocks, but just seeing what Lyle Collins was able to do and their running back scoring this touchdown, if he can bring that physicality to the Dallas Cowboys. This is how our coaching staff can gain trust within this guy if he were to see the field. So we'll go ahead and run it. As you can see, the running back gets the ball. And zooming in on Lyle Collins, just seeing how this guy was physical with number 95 and making everything clogged right there, just being a guy that's timing guys at the line of scrimmage, the better running backs can be able to find a small crease. And you love to see these type of touchdowns because this is exactly what the Dallas organization likes to see. <laughs> Whenever you can have a player that can be very physical like that and set the tone, if this guy can be able to do it on a consistent basis, this is how you can be able to see the field if guys like Tyler Smith were to get hurt or if the right tackle were to get hurt because the offensive line is going to be key going forward if we're going to get to where we want to go. One thing about Lyle Collins is not going to be perfect with this guy. He will have some good plays and he will have some bad plays. And the thing about the JC Network, we want to show you both. We cannot just show the good plays because this guy is coming off an ACL injury. He tore his PCL, his MCL, and his ACL. So the thing is, we got to break this stuff down and see exactly what this player can be able to do and if this guy can be productive for us going forward. So we'll go ahead and run it. As you can see, he kick slides, but it seems like it was a little bit stiff. With guys like Jadavian Clowney, he tries to get you to overcommit and he tries to knife inside. You can see the swipe move from Jadavian Clowney. With him, he tries to overpower his opponents. He's a quick athlete, but the thing is, making sure that he has the proper technique and not holding on these guys. You do not want to get flags, Cowboys Nation. We do not need this right now in this playoff stretch. And zooming in on the referee, you can just tell he was prepared to throw that flag. I mean, he threw that thing too, because the thing is, man, you cannot make it obvious when you're going up against these athletes. You got to be able to play with proper technique at a consistent basis. I know he's going Going through this injury but having proper leg work knowing how to place his hands and strike in the right direction and it's going to be important down the stretch cowboys nation because every down matters one thing i remember about lyle collins he tries to keep people out of the pocket by any means necessary if he's being very physical with you if he's trying to push you out of the pocket or if he's trying to punch you out of the pocket just so you can stay away from the quarterback and that's exactly what he did on this play so they're going to be giving the ball to the running back in the b gap and they're going to be sending all four guys at the line of scrimmage but just seeing Lyle Collins and seeing how he was able to push punch him outside of the pocket it's good to be able to see things like that because we know that this guy is very physical so we'll go ahead and run it so the running back he gets the draw play and watching Lyle Collins just watching his left arm punching this guy outside of the pocket like that just trying to keep him away from the play it's always great to see things like this you usually don't see this from your right tackle and you got to be a strong guy to be able to do things like that so just being physical and if they can be able to do that on draw plays certain little quick plays like that you can be able to just remove a guy and just wipe him out of the play because all it takes is just one false move but plays like this matters Cowboys Nation because every second counts and when you got a guy like Dak Prescott if you can be able to remove a guy outside of the pocket give Dak Prescott one more second this is how he can be able to get busy Cowboys Nation
sure that you have the proper hand placement is very important when it comes down to that offensive tackle position. And a lot of times I saw on tape, he did not get enough depth on his kick slide and he was playing fiddle with these guys with his hands. So these defensive ends, they practice this stuff all the time. So just making sure that you can be able to get to your spot quickly, lower your anchor, strike, and be able to keep these guys outside the pocket is going to be key. So we'll go ahead and run it. As you can see, these guys getting off the ball and just watching his kick slide, just not getting enough depth and playing fiddle with this guy's hands. This guy's using swipe moves. He's trying to be able to gain leverage against Lyle Collins. And usually whenever you get clumsy like that, all it takes is a half a second for these guys to get inside to be able to get to Joe Burrow. You cannot get clumsy like that. He's falling to the ground. And this guy, number nine, is closing in and getting to the quarterback. I wanted to show you guys this. And knowing that this guy is coming off that ACL injury, he blew everything out of his knee. I'm not sure if I really want him playing that right tackle position. But being able to be that left guard to be inside that interior, just in case one of these guys were to get injured, I feel good about that. And this was one of the plays that was before injury. So do we really trust this guy being able to protect Dak Prescott at that right tackle position coming off that injury? I'm not too sure of that. But him being that enforcer inside the interior, I think I feel more comfortable about that one. So on this final play here, I just wanted to show you guys what this guy can be able to do when he can be able to get his hands on another guy. But just making sure that you have proper hand placement, they're going to be sending all four guys on the defensive line, and they're going to have these two guys in coverage. But just seeing what this guy was able to do to be able to protect Joe Burrow once he got his hands on Jadavian Clowney, it's great to be able to see things like this, what this guy can be able to do once he gets his hands on you, just to be able to keep you away from the quarterback. So we'll go ahead and run it. And that was a nice little kick slide that he did. But just seeing the physicality, we love to zoom this stuff in, man, in the JC network, just so you guys can get next level all 22s and see it in slow motion. But looking at his left arm right there, you want to keep your arms inside because nine times out of 10, whenever you have your hands inside like that, these referees, they call flags, but they did not call a flag on this play. But it's good to be able to see that Jadavian Clowney could not get away from this guy. And seeing Joe Burrow, he was able to just get open and throw the ball to the wide receiver. This is the kind of stuff that Dak Prescott liked to see. Just being able to see the physicality from Lyell Collins. We can't get so caught up into his name. I know that this guy was a good player for us. He has had good games. He has had bad games. But the thing is, if this guy can be consistent, if he's playing that left guard position or if he's playing that tackle position, we want to be able to protect Dak Prescott. We're going to be playing against these big time teams in the playoffs. So being able to establish the line of scrimmage, if he's playing that backup role or if this guy is ready to be a starter, if somebody were to get injured, that's a good thing. But just knowing that this guy blew out his knee, let's see if this guy has what it takes because he didn't get picked up from nobody this year because usually when players have this happen to him at this point of their career, this can be fuel to be able to get the fire burning and let's see what this guy has but we can't get over hype we have a goal in mind we have to be able to take that next step in these big games there are no excuses for our dallas cowboys and it's going to be exciting to see so make sure y'all like share and subscribe and hit that notification bell because the way the youtube algorithm works if you don't hit it you'll miss on fire live streams and unique breakdowns all right cowboys nation talk to y'all soon gone